is freaking cold out here this morning oh man it is cold but check it out y'all this this is where i posted up here last night YouTube, what's up? What's going on, lockout men? In the truck. That's right, I'm in my loner slash future slash will be soon slash truck. Oh man. Good morning, y'all. What's going on? I wake up this morning. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have my uh, refrigerator here in the truck i had to leave my uh milk outside so it could stay cold so this milk is actually cold man i mean it's frozen this bad boy look at that i mean and i, I had it outside so imagine this is frozen when i got it this morning so imagine how it's actually cold outside but I'm, I'm, I'm here to talk to you guys about uh, about truck safety. We, we was in the um, we was in the Zello trucking room last night talking about uh, about truck safety and everything. And I just wanted to show you guys where I posted up at last night. It is freaking cold out here this morning. Oh man, it is cold. But check it out, y'all. This this is where I posted up here last night. And we was talking about uh, what these truck stops can do to better provide adequate safety for us truck drivers. Unfortunately, this little truck stop right here is more of a of a convenient store gas station other than a truck stop for us trucks but we 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 can't park here and last night when i came here last night it was super 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 dark super 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 dark you know we got a little field over there we got a field in the back uh, no, no lighting back here at all. None whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? The only the little bit of lights that we got is that little pole lights up there, and the lights up front, and the lights that's up under the up under the uh, fuel aisle. We was just talking about truck safety. This safe haven um, initiative that. A couple of us truckers got going right now. Damn it, man. Damn it, man. I mean, it is. It is. I mean. It is cold. I got a couple of more minutes before my uh, my uh, 
10 hours up. I came here about, excuse me, I came here about what? About 10 o'clock last night, maybe uh, 10 o'clock, 10.30 last night. So uh, when I shut it down, it was like, it was, like I said, it was late. And, uh, you know, we just got finished we just got finished leaving the leaving the group. Uh, we disbanded from the group. We talked about it a little. We talked about safety a little bit more about safety after after the group was done and everything. Um, but it it was a good conversation. Uh, conversation that I think needed to be had. The initiative is working. You know what I'm saying young man uh his truck was abandoned in houston and you know he got on uh first amendment which is my group and he kind of got on there and, and let everybody know that his truck was missing and he needed help uh to locate it um i got the call from one of my good friends jay vizzy uh he let it he asked me if I can get a hold of a couple of people that I know that stay down in Houston. Um, I did reach out to uh, to a couple of them down there. He also went to like other groups and he stepped up in uh, Sovereign Rose Truck Chalk and Chill, which a young lady by the name of Mel. Uh, she's a she's a group member. Uh, she was able to get down there and put eyes on his truck you know the you know they actually found it the initiative was working the network was working safe haven was working we all came together to network to help this brother get his truck so the initiative is working it's just need to, it, it just need that oomph to get up off the ground. So that's that's what it is. Trucker Safe Havens. It's a group of us truckers that came together for one cause, and that's your safety. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get out some tips, some tricks, some points of views. Make safety a priority for you unfortunately this little story that i'm about to read um that i come to find out is it's another sad story um another sad situation at another truck stop i just want to say this it's not the truck drivers that's giving problems with these truck stops it's the community that's giving problems for us truck drivers at these truck stops. This story right here, like I said, had me had me sad considering the fact that, you know, it it, it happened at another truck stop. Uh an Idaho man has been arrested. Uh, let wait before I get to that part. Because it was about a month before they actually found this guy. So let me bring you, let me take you back a little bit um, on what actually happened. Around 2.30 a.m., and this was about a, about a month ago, all right, it's uh, September 3rd, uh, an attack on a Missouri truck driver, Amos Phillips, at the TP truck stop off of I-5, I-15 in Idaho. So around 2.30 a.m., Phillips was sleeping inside of his lot truck after visiting a nearby casino when Alduki, Aldeke, Aldeke, I'll, I'll put the name up somewhere because it's hard to pronounce, broke into his truck and demanded money. When Phillips said that he didn't have any, Aldeke beat Phillips with rocks in his in his fists. Despite his injuries, Phillips was able to fight off a DK who fled into the woods. After the assault, Phillips was taken to the hospital for treatment of broken nose, broken cheekbone, 
and a blood clot in his brain. The truck stop mentioned now that they're going to try to have better security in their truck stops, which is good. It's commendable. It's unfortunate that a situation, that an incident have to occur for them to make that change. So let me get you caught up. They, they caught the guy. They caught the guy. An Idaho man has been arrested and has admitted to beating a sleeping truck driver so severely that he may never return to trucking. Yesterday, Fort Hall police announced that they arrested 23-year-old Stormy Adike. Well, why you didn't tell me that name in the first place? I would have just used Stormy. And charged him with two family counts of aggressive assault or aggravated, I'm sorry, aggravated assault and robbery. Stormy told the police during the questioning that he assaulted a truck driver at the Fort Hall truck stop because he wanted money. See, here's the thing. He must have, he must have, he must have been watched. You know what I'm saying? That's why I always say to Make sure you are very aware of your surroundings. Don't just walk with blinders on. You gotta, you gotta be, you got your head gotta be on a swivel. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be, you know what I'm saying? That's how you gotta walk. You gotta walk with a certain swag. You know what I'm saying? You gotta walk like you know that you see old boy over in the cut over in your peripheral. You gotta know that there's an abandoned car over here in your peripheral to your left. You gotta know that, you know, you, you gotta have eyes behind your head when you be walking in these truck stops in these areas that you're not even familiar with. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta be aware. And a lot of you guys isn't. Y'all just too oblivious to what's going on around your area, around your truck, around your person. You can't be that way. You you going you're you're driving in areas you're not familiar with. You see what I'm saying? And if you're not familiar with that area, then you don't know that if it's a crime ridden area, if it's a if it's a prostitute area, you just don't know. That's why you gotta be vigilant. You gotta stay vigilant eyes wide open you can't be close minded to what's going on whether people admit it or not and you don't have to be weak minded for it to do so or wasn't paying attention you know what I'm saying but obviously that dude that that beat him he knew he was coming from the casino and he knew that the the area where the truck was at was unsecured so that's two things going for the criminal you see what i'm saying so the truck driver was beating was beating real bad so this you know luckily they got the guy. Luckily, the truck stop is going to start doing more for, you know, more for safety for their for their truck drivers, customers. Because without us, I, I don't think they would be in business, right? I mean, if we stop going to some of these truck stops, we, we will put a hurting. We will put a hurting. All right, so... To finish this up, um, I, I want to say this right quick. Though Phillips is recovering from the beating, he says that he may ne never be able to get back in the driver's seat. Quote, I'm fine, but from the beating, I may never be able to go back to driving. I have a, a hematoma, a blood clot on the brain, and they have me on some very serious medicines. Because of that, I can't drive commercially. 
Phillips has a wife and children at home and is unsure how he will support his family since he can't return the truck. The truck stop the Soho Bunnett Tribe, who operates the casino and the TP Trust Stop, says that the case will be handed will be handled by the Tribal Prosecutor Office as well as the Federal Prosecuting Office. They also said that they're going to make sure they're going to take steps that this will never happen again. So. Trucker Safe Haven is an initiative of, of truckers that came together to talk about uh, truck driver safety and what we can do uh, to help uh, truck drivers that, that may need uh, some safety tips out there. So keep that in mind when you guys, and this is for you four wheelers too, you know what I'm saying? You know, because safety is is not just for us truck drivers. It's not just for men. It's not just for women. It's for everybody as a collective. You know what I'm saying? So, if you guys have any tips uh, on how you can on how you can better provide safety initiatives, leave it in the comments below and let me know uh, what you guys could do to. Uh, to let another truck driver, a future truck driver, a veteran truck driver, you know, get some get some ideas from them on how they protect themselves and and watch out for their safety. Yo, lockout men, that's it. That's me. You guys know what to do. You guys like, share, and promote the video. Um, get at me all kinds of ways. Talk to me in the comments. Um, subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell because, you know, I, I pop up anytime. You know what I'm saying? Watch out for my future videos. And uh, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. All my subscribers out there, you guys, is awesome. Um, keep up the good work. Stay safe. God bless. I'm out. Y'all take it easy. And, oh, coffee. <laughs> I think I already said it somewhere but coffee man hook a brother up let me also help a brother hook another driver up with some coffee too um whoever whoever uh you know get me coffee the link is in the uh description and in the comments below whoever hook me up with some coffee i'll definitely post that picture of me uh getting a cup of coffee that you brought in my instagram so go Go to my Instagram. It's at Lockout Men. That's where you guys can see all my hat collection and random videos and random pictures. All right. Um, get at me there. All right. I talked long enough. I'm gone. Y'all take it easy. Peace. Harder and harder, get smarter than Harvard Go hard with the slaughter to keep it 100 I think the industry wanna see a nigga like me The car that's a martyr, walk in the water The flow is immaculate, reading off the Dead Sea Scrolls As I'm rapping it, the track I'm crashing it Making it look like a Cadillac had a